We are so happy you're watching today, everybody. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. I'm Nate Eaton. We have Alex, Josh, Caitlin, Kalama, and Jordan's behind the camera with us today. We have a million dollars that a secret Santa has asked us to help him give to people in need in our community. And boy, we have a fun surprise happening right now. This lady's name is Shelly. She is one of those salt of the earth type of people. She raised three, three children. The oldest has special needs. She cares for him day and night and will continue to care care for him throughout her life. Her husband, Ron, has declining health. He currently goes to dialysis and wound care three times a week. Shelly lovingly spends her days taking him from one appointment to the next. Somehow, she still manages to serve those around her. She not only mows her lawn, but the elderly who live near her, she mows their lawn too. She's a person who always has a kind word and encourages each other. This person says they have uh, never seen her without a smile. A few years ago, she decided to go back to school and get a degree to be a teacher. Just as she was able to get her bachelor's, her husband, Ron, became very sick, so she has not been able to work. Secret Santa wants to help her out. So we have some gifts for her. Let's go surprise her. Trick or, Trick or treat. treat! How are you? Good. Good. Are you Shelly? Yes. Shelly, we're with East Idaho News. Do you have a minute? Sure. Okay. Oh my gosh. Did we scare you? No. We, we were... Okay. This is so embarrassing. What's that? Oh, don't be embarrassed. You look great. We were here a little earlier and you weren't home. Yeah. You have a busy schedule from what I understand, running to all sorts of appointments. A few. Anyway, we're not here for Halloween. We're here because a secret Santa asked us to come and visit you. No way. Yeah. No we're... way. I don't want to be on TV. Uh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. You look great. You look great. <laughs> we're just here to drop off some early Christmas presents way early. A couple holidays early. So um, I'm going to... Can my husband come out? Of course he can. Go grab can him. You, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Not a problem. Wait, we'll wait right here. Okay. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> It's okay, you're fine. Is he coming? Yeah, yeah we can wait. We have, we have yeah. time. What, you're Shelly, and what's his name? Ron. Ron, okay. I watch, I watch all of your episodes. I oh, love, you do? I, of course. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, did you ever think we'd be at your doorstep? No. Well, we love you no. too. <laughs> so just accept it. We're here for you. Is that your husband right yeah. there? I don't, yeah. How are you doing, sir? Mm -hmm. How are you, Ron? I'm Nate. <laughs> we know who you are. We know who you are. <laughs> well, now I know who you are. We're, uh, we decided we not trick or treat. We well, we figured we bring. Candy. We have candy. Well, we like candy. <laughs> but okay, let me get the candy. No, no, no! Don't go get the candy. <laughs> we have no tricks, just treats for today. So Caitlin has a gift here okay, for you. Now. It'll just pop right off. I have seen these ever other people. I don't want. To. You're one Other of the, people need this. You were the first house we're visiting this year. You weren't home oh earlier, gosh. so we're back. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've got to go get my son. Is that your son right there? Yeah. You want to wait for him? Um, oh my gosh. It's $3,000. Merry no Christmas. Other people Thank need you. this more than we do. Thank well, you. it's a gift. Oh You're welcome. I want to give you so one much. more thing, too, that's in my no pocket. Way. How are you? Hi, dude. Good, How are good, you? Good. Thank you. Looks like a bad He's non nonverbal. Nonverbal. And what's his name? Keenan. This is Keenan. Keenan. I love your shirt, Keenan. Come over here. If you need to go in the house, that's fine. No, he's okay. Okay. He's okay. Oh my goodness. Can you say thank you? <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Let me give you this one. Do you want you, this you one, Shelly? <laughs> Ron? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Your new car is parked no right in front of your house. No way. <laughs> no way. Yeah, it's here. See it? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. So, from what I understand, you. you load Ron's wheelchair in and out of the car. So, hopefully some of that money can be used to get you one of those, those hitch lifts. Do you know what I'm talking about? That you can put on the back I that goes so. up and down? 
And then the rest of the money can pay for the insurance for a year. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what to say. That is so nice. Well, Merry Wait, Christmas. I don't want to be one of those people. That, <laughs> one like of those? Other people, other, those other people need it. <laughs> no, no. You just take it and know that somebody loves you and is thinking about you. And Thank we're you. just so glad we get to meet you. Do you want to come out and see the car? Sure. Because we're leaving sure. it here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Everything's been paid for you. Here, you I can hold it. Oh, my gosh. She drives. She's the driver. <laughs> Well, someone told us about you, and we've been in doing our research. It's right here. This is a 2022. Oh my my, I've never had a car that was, I think my newest car is like a 2002, maybe. Well, this one's about a year old. Oh my gosh. It's a RAV4. Oh my goodness, so, thank you. Oh let's be gosh. sure that it starts up, all right? Okay. Come on over. Just, like, like that? I think so, just like that. Gosh. And turn it. Okay. There you go, oh it gosh. works. Oh my gosh, thank you. This is, a, this is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. You don't know what kind of a day I've had today. Has it been a bad day? <laughs> kind of. Well, I hope this makes it better. The most important thing is you know Secret Santa knows about you and cares about you and knows the burden you've had. And so hopefully this can make it a little bit lighter. Thank you, Secret Santa. So many people have it so much worse. Well, Thank you. we're glad that you look on oh the bright side goodness. of life. So we hope that you'll always remember oh this. Oh my and gosh. Well, I can't, this is a dream. This has got to be a dream. <laughs> no dream, I promise, this is real. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Crazy. I never in my wildest dreams. <laughs> well, we're here for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. <laughs> so good to meet you. Merry so Christmas. I, I love East Idaho News. Oh, and I well, love thank all, you. Of, all that you guys do. You're amazing. And all of your stories and all of the people that you help. It's just. Well, it's all Secret it's Santa. We Secret just get. Secret Santa. You are. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this means so much. Thanks for watching today. I'm Nate Eaton. We're glad you're here. And we have with me here Caitlin and Kalama, and we have Josh and Alex. Jordan's behind the camera. We're in Idaho Falls, about to surprise a young mother with a gift from an anonymous secret Santa. Her name is Kaylee. She and her husband, Cameron, have two young children. On October 7th, Kaylee and Cameron were riding horses with their extended family. Kaylee was injured significantly when she fell off the horse. She hit her head on a large post and was unconscious for several seconds. When she came to, it was discovered she couldn't move without significant pain in her back. An ambulance was called and at the hospital, she, they found that she had three fractured vertebrae, a small brain bleed, a concussion, and a fractured foot. She was admitted to the ICU and then moved to another floor the next day. She will be in a back brace, a walking boot, and have significant lifting restrictions for several months while she recovers, caring for her young children of course is difficult is she's not even supposed to lift her youngest child she still is in a lot of pain and will likely need to have physical therapy in order to fully recover so secret santa is going to lift her burden a little bit this christmas we have some gifts for her we hope she's home let's go surprise her How are you? Good. Are you Kaylee? Yes. Kaylee, I'm Nate with East Idaho News. We're glad to see you're up and about. Yeah. These are some of my colleagues here. Hi. And uh, we just wanted to come in and check on you. We've heard you've had a rough couple weeks. What's been happening? I fell off a horse, um, so I kind of fell into a fence and 
broke my spine in several places and broke my foot and yeah, had surgery and yeah. So oh my gosh. So how are you doing today? Good, doing, it's actually been amazing how fast I've recovered. Um, just kind of, yeah, it's been, it's been great. I'm up and walking and this happened on the 7th of October, so. Wow. It's pretty amazing. So less than a month. Yeah. I, I would imagine there's some lifting restrictions, like because yeah. of your back and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. No bending or twisting or lifting um, for six to eight weeks. Um, but other than that, I'm, I'm getting back to normal activities. And how's your family been? Good. Yeah. We've been good. We've got two little ones. So my husband's been home from work taking care of them. And, well, we're here because a secret Santa asked us to come and see you. It's, it's, we still have several weeks until Christmas, but it must have been pretty urgent because he said, can you please take her a gift? So one of my uh, helpers here, Alex, has a gift for you. Oh, my goodness. So we'd love to see you open that. Yeah. The, the lid will just come right off. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh. I can't even get them all out. Yeah, they're kind of stuck in there. There's two thousand dollars of groceries. So that hopefully can help. We know, like your husband's been. Wow, home. this is amazing. Who is this from? It's an anonymous person who just wow. asked us to come and surprise you and bring you a gift. <laughs> that's so sweet. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's that's amazing. That's gonna help us so much. Thank you guys. This is so awesome. You're welcome. I have one more thing for you right here in this box oh let me trade you here i'll hold that one okay. i don't want you to have to move yeah. more than you need to do you want me to read it yeah uh, secret santa surprises six months of house cleaning secret santa will pay for six months of house cleaning from distinguished images cleaning service oh my goodness so that value is thirty five hundred dollars they're going to come every week for the next six months because we know you have little kids yeah. they're anything like my kids they're messy yeah <laughs> and you shouldn't be bending or vacuuming or whatnot yeah. so merry wow. christmas thank you so much you guys this is amazing really thank you you're welcome merry thank christmas you. merry christmas good to thank meet you. you give our best to your husband and yeah, your kids i will all okay. right take care we'll thank see you thank you bye everyone bye -bye. Bye. Merry Christmas, everybody. Secret Santa is getting in the Christmas spirit a little early this year. He wants to give away $1 million to people in need in our community. And we have a great surprise this afternoon. We are here in Yukon. My name is Nate, Josh, Kalama, Caitlin, Alex, and uh, Jordan. They're all here with us. I want to tell you about the Benning couple. Uh, the nomination we got was really sweet. It says, my grandparents took me in at the age of 10. They helped raise me my entire life. I ended up with epilepsy at the age of 20. I've been in and out of brain surgeries trying to find some kind of relief. The whole way through, my grandparents have helped me financially and mentally. Without them, there's no way me or my five-year-old boy would survive. I think they deserve to be honored because they go out of way for everyone. They go out of their way for everyone they know in our family and with their church. Also, my grandpa has had multiple back surgeries in the last few years, and my grandma has had multiple shoulder surgeries and back surgeries. So here's what uh, their grandchild asks for: a new riding lawnmower, as theirs is broken and they're unable to fix it, and yarn so my grandma can make hot pots to give to people in need. So Secret Santa said, I can happily give them those items. Let's go surprise them. Hello. How are you? You're in your PJs. That looks comfortable. I'm mean, still in my jammies. How are you? Are you Mr. Denny? Denny. Denny. Yeah. I'm Nate with East Idaho News. How's your day going? Uh, Hello. A little chilly. It is. Yeah. It must be that time of year. Okay, what did I do wrong? Did you I did nothing people? wrong other than a secret <laughs> Santa asked us if we could come and bring you a gift. Oh, really? Yeah, we have a gift for you and one for your wife. Oh, well, that's, that's awesome. You can just, you can just, in. is that all right? Yeah. Get from that. Oh, my goodness. Well, can you take that lid off or do you need some assistance? Uh 
We understand you like to knit. Crochet. Crochet. Yeah. There's five hundred dollars to Joanne Fabric on those gift cards. Oh my goodness! How oh, awesome! That's a lot of yarn. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Do you make heating pads for people or uh, hot pads? Hot pads. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, good. That our secret Santa asked if we could bring those to you to thank you for what you've done, and hopefully you can bless others. We can give you some hot pads if you want. Okay. Oh wow! I can definitely use these. We heard you might need a new riding lawnmower. <laughs> did yours break down? <laughs> the mower part of it did, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's three thousand dollars to the Home oh, Depot. My Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Someone uh, cares a lot about you and asked if we could drop that off. Sorry, I'm, I'm a very emotional person. It's all right. Huh? It's okay, we can't wait to see you on your new lawnmower. Your yard's gonna look the best one on the street. Yeah, I can use one. Well, you mow, you can crochet. Yeah. Once your shoulder's better. Well, it was so good meeting you. Yes, yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. You guys have a wonderful holiday, and, and we hope, wish you the best recovery. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's a chilly morning here in Idaho Falls. I'm here with Andrea Olson, Josh Johnson, Jordan Woods behind the camera. I'm Nate Eaton. We're at Morningstar Senior Living, about to surprise one of the employees here. Her name is Marina. Marina and her two boys were forced from their home in Ukraine when Russian forces invaded their country back in 2021. They had about two hours to gather whatever they could and begin the long journey to safety. After days of walking and putting together any other possible means of transportation, they eventually made their way to Germany where they lived for about a year. Uh, Marina had some contacts in the United States, so she applied for and received status as a refugee and ended up here in Idaho Falls. When they arrived, the only belongings they had fit in their suitcases that they were carrying. Marina has been working hard to put herself in a position to move her and her boys to their own little place. They're currently uh, living with friends right now, and Marina walks to work every day here at Morningstar. But Secret Santa wants to give them a lift up. He has $10,000 for Marina in the form of a check. She doesn't know who we are. She doesn't know that we're about to change her life thanks to Secret Santa. Let's head inside. Hi, how are you? We're looking for Bailey. Bailey goes. Hi. Hi, Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. you too. Do you know why we're here? Yes, I do. This is great. Hi, I'm Marina. Hey. Yep. <laughs> how are you? I'm Nate with East Idaho oh. News. How's your day going? All right. You had no idea who we are or what we're doing here, <laughs> right? We heard a pretty cool story about you. Did you just start this job recently? Yeah. Yeah? Months ago. Two months ago. And, and uh, where are you from? From Ukraine. And what brought you over here to Idaho Falls? It's more safety place for me and my kids. Yeah. How many kids do you have? Two, small. Yeah, how do you like each other? I like this. Well, we are here because an anonymous secret Santa asked us to come and bring you a Christmas gift. <laughs> and I know it's early in the season, but we, we said, hey, go over to Morningstar find Marina. We tried to come yesterday afternoon and you were gone. Mm -hmm. So I just want to hand this gift over to you. That way you can just pull it right off. We'd love to see you open it. Oh, yep. <laughs> it's too much. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Thank you. We hope that that can help you and your sons. Yeah, it's helping with my car. <laughs> Are you working to get a car? Um, I learned driving now, so it's... You're learning to drive. Well, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully that can get you a car and then you don't have to walk through the cold. Yeah, because now my friends help me and I work so much. <laughs> okay. Well, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Can we give you a hug?
Merry Christmas, everybody. We are in Chubbuck today. I'm Nate Eaton here with Josh Johnson, Kalama Hines, and Jordan Wood is behind the camera. We have another great surprise from an anonymous secret Santa. He's asked us to give away a million dollars to people in our community who are deserving of some special gifts, and we're about to do that. This guy's name is Evan. We're told he's an amazing dad to four kids and a great husband to his wife, Katie. They've fallen on some hard times recently with Katie having health issues, their youngest child having challenges and troubles with their 2011 Dodge minivan. Katie was recently hospitalized to have a pacemaker replacement surgery. Evan is super reliable and helpful to Katie and the kids. He works full-time at Walmart. He's also going to school to learn computer networking so he can improve the family's circumstances. He often spends his days off alternating between schoolwork and helping Katie with things that need to be caught up on. Their six-year-old has autism and epilepsy. Katie has Crohn's disease, a pacemaker, and fibromyalgia. Through this all, Evan has been a rock and is so devoted to his entire family. Well, Secret Santa loved learning about Evan, and he asked us if we could give him a special gift, him and his family, and it's right behind me. It's this Honda Pilot. This is a car that will be able to fit their entire family. Now, he is at work right now, and what he does is he brings out groceries and other items to customers to pick up. So what we're going to do is go park in the pickup area, and then we're going to call and say, hey, our order is here to be picked up. He's going to bring out those items, but they're really not for us. This is for him, and we're going to surprise him there in the pickup area. Let's go. Hey, how you doing? Um, it's for Nate Eaton. We're actually looking for a guy named Evan. Is that you? Wait, 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 Evan, come here. How are you? I'm good. I'm with East Idaho News. You probably don't have any idea why we're here, right? I, I uh, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> You're speechless. So, um, what did they tell you? Why did you walk out here to slot number 13? Um, because Michelle told me to. Yeah, well, who was the delivery for? Michelle. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, Michelle. It's not for Michelle. We actually are bringing you something. Okay. From an anonymous secret Santa. We'd love to see you open this present. You hear all that. That's a thousand dollars from an anonymous secret Santa. You won't be able to find their, their name on there if you're looking for it. It's a cashier's check. Yeah, I see that. I, I see that. Well, oh. that's that's uh, that's that's cool. That's cool. That definitely help me right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have one more thing for you, Evan. Yes, sir. I actually don't have it in a box. Okay, I have that? it here. What is that? It's that. That's your new car. Merry Christmas. No. Okay, what is that? What is that? What is Ashton Kutcher at? No, no, no. This is not a <laughs> candid camera. This is from a, a real anonymous secret Santa who heard about you and your kids and your wife. And you're, you're not driving a reliable vehicle from what he heard. <laughs> Here, come, come and get in. Come and get in, Evan. Wow. Uh, uh, can it fit all? It does. There's three rows. Okay, good. There's a I'm third like... row. Okay, good. Because I was like, uh... Yeah, we know you have four kids, right? Yes, sir. Well, I, they... I, I, I did... I... Are, you... Are you joking? I'm not joking. Bro, uh... All, all the taxes have been paid. All the fees have been paid. That thousand dollars will pay for your registration and insurance. You don't have to pay a penny. <sighs> Merry Christmas. Don't pass out. No, I'm not going to pass out. I'm just like... You want to come up front and see what it's like in the driver's seat? I need to get back to work. I, I got, I got, uh... You got three more minutes. No. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh wait, that's not it. 
Oh my gosh, dude. Now, Evan, you are also working in school, right? Yes, I'm going to school, yeah. Put your foot on the brake, okay. and uh, now just push that button. Y'all okay, me, I, I, this, oh my gosh. Anything you want to say to the Secret Santa in case he's watching? Thank you, this, this means everything to us. I don't know what to say. I, 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 thank you. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Nate Eaton here with Josh, Peggy, and Jordan. And we are in Fremont County, surrounded by farming fields. You can see a tractor back behind us. Uh, we're about to surprise a woman who lives out here. Her name is Whitney. In August, her nine-month-old daughter, Charlie, began having seizures. She was rushed to Madison Memorial Hospital, then to Ermac, then to Primary Children's Hospital, put on a number of medications to ease the pain, went through countless blood tests and all sorts of x-rays, and they're just there wasn't any answers. Nobody knew what was wrong. Uh, the little girl, Charlie, was discharged from Primary Children's Hospital. She did fine for about a week, and then her white blood cell count went extremely low, making it hard for her to fight any infections. Charlie's uh, Whitney, excuse me, was told to keep a close watch on her. Charlie then spiked a fever of 102 degrees, was again rushed to the hospital. She's again going through so many tests. They're just trying to figure out what is wrong with poor little Charlie. And Secret Santa heard about uh, Whitney's story, Charlie's story, and he asked if we could help ease the burden just a little bit this Christmas season. So here's what we have for Whitney and her family. We have a $1,000 check to go toward expenses that they might have, $2,000 in gas cards because there'll be a lot of travel back and forth from out here down to the doctor, and $3,000 in grocery gift cards that she can use to help put food on the table. So we have heard that Whitney's home. We're going to go surprise her. Hi. Hi. Are you Whitney? I am. Whitney, did you see us drive up? I did. And you're probably like, what in the world? Were you expecting a friend? I was. Okay, well, we're, we're your friends today. Perfect. She's not coming. How's your little one? Is that Charlie? This is Charlie. And how's she doing? She's doing pretty good. She yeah. has her good days and her bad days, but yeah. Are you still running back and forth to appointments? And um, yeah. I mean, we kind of is just like a waiting game. Like when she gets sick, we go and and she's good, we're home. Have so. they figured out what's wrong? She has an autoimmune disease it's called um, autoimmune neutropenia. Okay. So basically her body just doesn't have the antibodies to fight off bacterial infections. Mm. So, Gosh. yeah. Well, and who are these guys? How are you? Look how she this. Yeah? Look how she did. Okay. Hi guys, I like your outfits. Are you still dressing up from Halloween? Yeah. Oh good. Well, we have a gift for you from an anonymous secret Santa who asked us to drive all the way out here to the middle of nowhere, <laughs> but it's a nice area. I'm gonna hand this over to you. We'd love to see you open this. Hi. Merry Christmas. Thank you. That's awesome. Hopefully you can use that. I know you're doing a lot of traveling and there's sure, I'm sure there's a lot of expenses. Thank you. Uh, let me give you one more thing. This is from. Uh, you guys want to open this one? So here, we'll give these to your mom. These are a bunch of grocery gift cards. There's three thousand dollars to the grocery store and two thousand dollars to the gas station. Like I said, you're doing a lot of traveling. So. This is awesome. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Guys. We'll let you guys get in where it's warm. Good seeing you, cutie. Bye, guys. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton here with Caitlin, Josh, Kalama, and Jordan. We're in the East Idaho News parking lot. We have a unique secret Santa surprise that we've never done before, anything like this. Let me tell you how this came about. A few weeks ago, I got an email. It said, Nate, this email is going to be a bit strange, but I've had this feeling I need to explain myself for quite a while. The first year that Secret Santa started back in 2015, I was chosen as a recipient. I was given $2,000 for which I'm grateful. When you all came to my home, my daughter had just gotten out of the hospital from having complications with diabetes. She was two years old at the time and had been diagnosed that April. 
That year, she was hospitalized 10 times. Lori, hi, Lori. how are you? Hi. I'm Nate with EastSideOfTheNews.com. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Hey. You're back from the hospital. Yes. Everything all right? Oh, yeah. Well, good. Well, a Secret Santa uh, heard about you guys, and we've been working with Mr. Jolly here, and we wanted to drop a special gift buy for you on this uh, Christmas Eve. Oh, my goodness. So you, can, you don't have to wait till tomorrow to open it. You can open it right now. Okay. If you'd like. Oh, wow. Merry Christmas. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Not a problem. We hope you guys have a good oh Christmas and you enjoy spending time with your family. Thank you. I'm sure you don't remember me or my family, but I wanted to let you know how sorry I am for being so bad at accepting the money. I'm sorry you coming to my home did not make a very good story. I had just had cancer removed right before my daughter was diagnosed diabetic. There was so much going on and I'm sorry I didn't do well. I had seven kids at home at the time and was so overwhelmed and didn't know what to do or just what I dare say when you came to the door. But just so you know, that money was a huge blessing. I'm a single mom. I raised the kids all alone. It's been a long, rough road. There are now just two left at home. Two are married, two grandkids, and two on missions. One just graduated. My youngest, the diabetic, still has complications a few times a year, but she is so strong and fights through it all. Again, thank you for choosing to help out a single mom, Lori. Well, we were touched by Lori's story. I wrote her back, we've communicated a little bit, and I asked her if we could come over and do a follow-up story today, just to say how Secret Santa has blessed her life. She said, sure, not a problem, come on over. What she doesn't know is that at the end of the interview, Secret Santa is giving her $10,000. So we are here with Lori Bunn. Lori, it's so good to see you again. I remember the house, it was on Christmas Eve nine years ago. Uh, tell me first of all how you guys are doing now and, and how things have changed over the years. Um, we're doing really good. Um, things have changed like crazy. I started a new job recently and my kids are, half of them are grown and just two of them left at home. So it's just been, just everything's growing and getting better. And you wrote me an email a couple of weeks ago and, and give me kind of the, the, uh, idea, the general idea. Why did you send me the email and what did you say? So I sent the email because I felt that um, I just didn't make the whole secret Santa thing. It just wasn't like a, oh my gosh, look at this. We were just getting home from the hospital. My two-year-old had diabetes, or has diabetes, and um, I just was so overwhelmed, and I had been just getting out of an abusive relationship, and so I didn't want all the fanfare and things happening with him, and just, um, I felt really bad, so I, I wrote in and said, I'm sorry I didn't make good um, news or whatever it was, and felt really bad and thought I should just maybe say something. <laughs> Well, that was kind of you to do. We don't we don't expect anyone to act a certain way, you know. Everybody has a different reaction, so hopefully there's no pressure to put on a show, right, so to say. Yeah. Uh, but you were in the middle of a whole lot. Yeah. But you, in the update you sent me, so much has changed. You've been able to move forward and now look back nine years. And, and now most of your kids are grown? Yes, I had seven that were here at the time. And um, two are married, one's engaged. One's on a mission, and the other one just got home from a mission, and um, now have two grandkids, and I mean, everything's just growing. It's fun. So how did that Secret Santa gift that first year help? Oh my gosh. So $2,000 at Christmas was like, it paid our bills. It put gas in the car. It, you know, gave my kids some clothes. Like it was, it, I mean, it was just the little things, but it meant so much. Like it was big to me because I was, at the time driving school bus and you know you don't get a lot of hours you don't get paid a lot and I did it so I could still be a mom to you know my little one with diabetes and still you know be around for you know the kids we literally just lived off of it like it just you know saved us wow. are you still driving school buses I'm not I just um, quit in August or September sorry and now I bumped up to a class A CDL and I'm driving truck <laughs> you're a truck driver wow yeah. are you do you stay local or do you go long distance yeah I'm, I'm local and just hauling spuds right now good for you well is there anything that you would want to say to Secret Santa or anything that you want to add um, just thank you so much like it just made a big difference like it just helps so much in like a huge time of need so just a huge thank you I, and you know I, I feel like I want to pay forward and I hopefully someday I can you know eventually be able to do that so. yeah well we're glad that we could come he asked that I bring you something 
The secret Santa. Oh, no way. Oh, I'm shaking. No way! Shut up. Shut up. Are you serious? That is amazing. I, I mean, I'm still single. I still have kids at home. This Merry Christmas. Thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. This will do so much. <laughs> so much. I need a new car. Like, like this will be amazing. Thank well, you. Good. Well, good. Good seeing you. Oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Happy holidays. <laughs> oh, thank you. Merry Christmas, everybody. It is raining today. We are out in Hibbard in Madison County. Peggy, Josh, Nate, and Jordan. We are about to surprise a guy named Justin. Back in February, he got to work. He got out of his car and slipped on some ice. Now, we've all fallen on the ice a time or two, only this was extremely serious. He couldn't get up. He was taken to the hospital and he had severe spinal damage. And over the past year, he has been working to recover from this horrible injury. Justin and his wife have four children and what they really need is some yard repairs. He, uh, in fact, wants a riding lawnmower. He wanted a riding lawnmower so that he could get out and mow his own grass. And that is the gift that Secret Santa has for him. From what we understand, he's making progress. He should be able, if it's the right lawnmower, to get on the lawnmower and be able to mow his grass. Plus, Secret Santa wants to have sprinklers put in and some new grass. And that's exactly what we're going to give him. Landscaping and $5,000 to Home Depot. He can go pick out his lawnmower. Now, Justin doesn't know that we're coming. We hope that he's home because we drove a long ways. If he's not, let's go surprise Justin. Justin around. He is. Um, he's going down. I need to get. No, okay. I just need to get his locker. What are you guys doing? Hey, you must be Justin. I am. How are you doing? It's good to see you up and about. I always watch you guys doing mm -hmm. this. And here we are in your front room. I never expected that. <laughs> no. So what happened? How did you end up in with this walker? Um, in February, I uh, was walking into work and I uh, slipped in the ice, fell back and broke my neck and uh, was paralyzed from the neck down. And uh, that night, uh, they fused uh, four vertebrae in my neck and uh, told I wasn't, told my wife I wasn't ever going to walk again. and. Uh, Spent a week at Ermac and then two months at the University of Utah and was able to leave. Uh, just starting to walk in a walker and I go to therapy every day, sometimes two times a day and uh, sometimes three times a day, it just depends on the day. So. Can you just sit down by the way? Oh no, I'm, okay. I'm fine right now. Okay. It's good to stand sometimes, stretch. Right. I, I, I was just resting after therapy. but. Uh, and you, yeah. at the time you, you uh, fell, weren't you guys expecting? Yeah, my wife was five months pregnant. Yeah. And uh, yeah, wife. And then the the even crazier thing was we we, we got home and uh, found out that a pipe broke in my basement and flooded my basement. You're kidding? <laughs> no. And you know what? That's just uh, how life goes. You know, you. Yeah, it was doing really well at work, and uh, and uh, you think you're on top of the world, and things like this happen, and uh, it's okay. You can get through it, and uh, the money and all the toys, and uh, it doesn't matter that much. Being with your family and still being able to help others, all that matters. Well, that is an amazing attitude to have. What's the prognosis? Just keep on going till. Uh, um, we can get more progress. It's, it's slowed down quite a bit, um, but from being paralyzed, completely paralyzed to this uh, is pretty good. 
all from a slip on the ice. Yeah. Man. Who would have ever what, thought? What a uh, positive outlook you have. If you've watched us, you probably know why we're here. I know why you're here. So we're just going to say that. goodbye and let you go to that bed. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, we have a gift for you from a secret Santa. Do you need your wife's help to uh, uh, open it? Yeah. Let's get her over here. Okay. I didn't catch your name when you opened the door. Oh, Kendra. Kendra, good to see you. That, just pull that lid right off. Oh, Landscaping and sprinklers, so $10,000 of landscaping <laughs> and sprinklers. Somebody told us you really wanted to have your yard done and sprinklers put in? Yeah. Yes. Secret Santa is <laughs> taking care of your lawn. We have one more thing for oh, you. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> That's $5,000 for you to pick up a riding lawnmower <laughs> that you can use. <laughs> Because someone said too that you'd love to sit on that riding lawnmower and take yeah. care of your new lawn and sprinklers. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Much. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas came early. Christmas came early and it couldn't come to a more deserving couple and Thanks. we wish you all the best. I hope in a year I'm back doing a follow up on the miraculous recovery oh. that you're running a marathon or something. I, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll take whatever I can get. So. I had to put 200 yards of dirt in so far, and it costs a lot over time. But this this uh, summer uh, was going to be the summer that I was going to get it all done, and then this happens, and uh, that's okay. You know, all in due time. Well, I know there's so many people that care about you guys, especially the Secret Santa. He asked us to convey his love and <laughs> and uh, know that he's thinking about you. So have Thank a good you. Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. We are in a windy, chilly sugar city. I'm Nate Eaton here with Josh, Peggy, Jordan, and we are about to surprise a woman named Ruth. Now, Ruth has five children, and all of them have passed away over the past few years. Four of her sons had muscular dystrophy. Her daughter died of another disease, leaving her and her husband, Rick, all alone. Well, just a few weeks ago, Rick passed away kind of unexpectedly. And so now Ruth has lost her husband and her five children. And her big worry is how is she going to pay off the funeral from her husband's death? Well, Secret Santa heard about Ruth and said, I'm going to pay off her funeral. Go up to Sugar City and let her know. And here's one of the really cool things about Ruth. A few years ago, when we surprised a family, a young father who had ALS, uh, Mindy and Wyatt Reese in Yukon, Ruth called us up and said, I have a handicap accessible van that I want to give to the Reese family. She showed up at their door and gave them her van. And so Secret Santa wants to help her now in this time of need. So he's paying off the funeral. And then Ruth's wish is to go see one of her grandchildren who lives in Maine. Secret Santa wants to help pay for her travel. We have a check for $4,000 from him that we're going to drop off. Now she thinks that a friend is going to stop by this afternoon and visit with her. Instead, it's us. We've got these gifts. Let's go surprise her. Hi, Ruth. You guys. How are you doing? I did not know that your husband passed away recently. He did on the second of last month. Wow. He's had a wild year. You've had a wild few years. I have. I was like, okay, I'm left alone and he's up there with all the kids. But I have Taylor. She's still with me and my granddaughter. And Taylor's your granddaughter. Mm -hmm. And then do you, how many other grandkids do you have? Um, there's eight of them. You probably know why we're here. If you watch East Idaho you News. Guys. We were asked to bring you some gifts. So. You know what? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. This is this is our first gift for you. Because there's other people that need it more than me, Nate. <laughs> Don't worry about other people. I know you do worry about other people. Let me give you one more thing. Oh my goodness. 
switchy boxes here. Can you read that? Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> it's covered. You don't have to worry about paying for the funeral. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we're, we're just dropping it off. It's the secret Santa who might be watching if you want to say anything to him. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This will take care of that. Maybe I can breathe now and quit worrying about yeah. stuff. Well, did you have someone you wanted to travel to in Maine? I do. I want to go see Samantha, and our you, granddaughter. So she's in Maine. Okay. Well, this money is to help you do that. So <laughs> oh. you can travel and go see her and hopefully have a little bit of you time. I don't... You probably don't know what that is. <laughs> you know what? I've had a hard time leaving. I just... I just want Rick to be with me and he's not. I was going to go to Utah Saturday and watch our little grandson play a ball game, but I just couldn't even get out of town. I just didn't want to go. <sighs> well, give it time. You don't have to, you don't have to rush out. You don't have to do it immediately, but don't, don't stress anything more about the funeral. Oh, that's sweet of you guys. Well, Thank you, Secret Santa. I love ya. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas so to you guys you. too. Oh my gosh. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I'm Nate Eaton here with Jordan Wood. We are in Income today, outside Income Elementary School. We're about to surprise the principal of the school. Her name is Mrs. Piper, Lily. Now, Lily moved from Idaho Falls to Pocatello because every weekend she has to go to Utah to be with her husband and daughter. Her husband is awaiting a kidney transplant, but they need $5,000 to prove to the insurance that they can pay for that kidney transplant. So Miss Piper is here every Monday to Thursday. Then on Thursday, she drives down to Utah. She's with her family and then back up here again on Sunday night to prepare for the school week. She is the most genuine person from what Secret Santa heard about her. She's kind, she's loving, she does uh, a lot for the students here and makes a world of difference. And Secret Santa asked if we could come here today to the school and surprise her. He got her some gas cards, $2,000 in gas cards because she has to put a lot of miles on her car going back and forth. Also some grocery cards for grocery stores here in Idaho and then also in Utah when she's visiting her husband. And that $5,000 that they need for the kidney, Secret Santa is paying for that. Now, Miss Piper, we understand, is here today inside her office or working with the students. Let's go surprise her. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm Good. Are you Lily? I am. How are you? Uh, Miss Piper, I should I am say. Mrs. Piper, Mrs. Yes. Piper. I'm Nate with East Idaho News, and we've been asked to stop by the school today to bring you a gift from a secret Santa. Oh my goodness, you're kidding. Yeah, did you? You, know, you didn't have any idea, right? We love the ultimate no. surprise. <laughs> no, she. Will you come talk to us? I was like, can you just tell him to come in my office? <laughs> no, we wanted you out here. But let me just hand over this gift for you. There's some Maverick cards in here that... It... Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're putting a lot of miles on your car, aren't you? I am. So that's $2,000 to help cover gas. Oh my gosh. I don't... And then... Groceries? Yeah, there's 3,000 in groceries, and those are accepted at all the Kroger stores. So if you're in Utah, they, you can use it at Smith's. Wow, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Who even nominated me? Oh my goodness, this is... It's a secret. I... Thank you. I'm getting over a cold start and my voice is horrible. It's all right, we're glad you're here. We have but... one more thing for you too. This is not, this is my, this should be going to someone else. Well, it's for you. I don't... What? That's enough to put down my 
Kevin's kidney. Yeah, that's what we heard. You needed five thousand dollars. As a as a premium payment. Thank you. Merry, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you so much. We hope that helps, and the Secret Santa said to send you his love. You won't find his name on there if you're trying to look. <laughs> it's it's a cashier's check, but you can, I know it is. you can cash it in any bank, and hopefully that can help help your husband's situation, and we hope you guys have a really good Christmas. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, everybody. We are in Iona today. I'm here with Josh Johnson and Jordan Wood. I'm Nate Eaton. I want to tell you about a woman named Kaiza. Her and her family have been through quite a bit over the past few months. She has a two-month-old baby named Harvey. He was born with club feet, and there's been one health problem after another after another. His trachea collapsed as he's been going back and forth between uh, different doctor appointments. They have to lay him flat in the car in a special seat when they travel. He has some genetic issues that they're checking on. Despite Despite all of this, he's been so strong and so has his family and Secret Santa wants to give them an early Christmas gift. And you know, when you go back and forth between Idaho Falls and Salt Lake, that puts a lot of miles on your car. So Secret Santa has some gas cards for them. He's got some food cards for them. He has a hotels card for them and he has $5,000. We're going to go surprise them. How are you? Good, how are you? Are you Kaiza? Kaiza. Kaiza, yes. I'm sorry. And who's this? This is Harvey. Harvey, look how <laughs> cute he is. How old is he? He's two months old. Oh my gosh. Well, we're glad we caught you home. Thank you. We're with East Idaho News. Yes, I and know who you are. We're, we're here because a secret Santa asked us to bring you an early Christmas gift. Oh my goodness. He heard about everything that's been happening, and I'm how is he doing? He's doing pretty well, actually. We're I think we're on the upside of things, so um, yeah, follow-ups with all the specialists. He has many specialists to see, but I think we're getting some answers, so. Oh, good. So you're doing a lot of back and forth with doctors. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> saying hi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah Lots here. of back and forth to Salt Lake. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, we're, like I said, we're glad we caught you home. We have a gift for you. Um, you have full arms there. That's okay. Can you open that? Yes. And you can just pull off the lid. There you go. <laughs> so there's a bunch of thank random you. gift cards for restaurants. There's five hundred dollars yeah. in there. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Uh, the Secret Santa just picked a bunch of random ones because we know when you're on the road a lot, you have yes. to stop and get food wherever yes. you can, and sometimes it's just easier to order out. So hopefully that can cover meals for a, a little while. Thank you. Do you have other kids, or is this your yeah, first? Yeah, my daughter. She's taking a nap right and now. How old is she? She's three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I have one more thing for you. I want to hand over to you. Gas cards. Gas card, there's two thousand yes. dollars in gas cards. And then there's a hotels card, there's a thousand. We don't know um, how you accommodate when you go down to the hospital in Utah, but if you ever need an yeah. overnight stay, uh, Secret Santa we want you have to worry about that. Thank you. So you can just book through that website and, and get your lodging taken care of and keep your car filled up. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let me give you one oh more. You get three today. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> that will help so much. Well, good. We can't wait to see how this little guy yeah. improves and gets big and grows up. I know. It's been a journey, but I'm so excited to see where it's going see now that we're on the yeah. other side of things. So. Well, the Secret Santa said to say, uh, give you his love and, and his you. best wishes. And, and please give our best to your daughter and thank your husband. You. And yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. Good meeting you. You too. Take Have care. I'm giving you guys a hug. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Hi, buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hi, buddy.